Hello friends, my name is Emily and I'm a librarian here at the Brownsburg Public Library in Brownsburg, Indiana, and welcome to Storytime Shorts. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Storytime Shorts. My goal with these videos is to share some fun things that you can do with your little one that also help support early learning all geared for kids ages zero to five and their caregivers. Today's video is all about do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. <gasps> ah, sharks! That's right. Oh, it goes perfectly with our summer reading theme, Oceans of Possibilities. So we're gonna share three songs, three books, and an activity all about sharks. It'll be a lot of fun. And as always, we have a um, table of contents in the description where you can click to easily uh, skip or revisit any of the songs and activities that you like. <gasps> Our first song is about five little fish. Can you see the fish on the board? Let's count them together to make sure there are five. There's one, two, three, four, five. Very good. Can you get five fish out on your fingers? All right. Five little fish were swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along came Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be, and snapped one fish right out of the sea. Oh my goodness, how many fish are left? One, two, three, Four fish, do you have your four fish? Okay. Four little fish were swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along came Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be, and snapped another fish right out of the sea. Oh my goodness, there are one, two, three fish left. Can you do three on your fingers? You can do it like this, or you can do it like this, whichever is easier. Three little fish were swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along came Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be, and snapped another fish right out of the sea. Oh my goodness, let's see one, two, only two fish left. You got your two fish? Okay. Two little fish were swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along came Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be, and snapped another fish right out of the sea. Oh no, there's one fish left. How's that fish feeling? One little fish swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along came Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be, and snapped that fish right out of the sea. Burp. Oh my goodness, that shark was so hungry, he ate all of the fish. Oh look, there's our fish back. Maybe you noticed that the fish have different colors and different patterns, but some of them look alike. Can you tell which ones are the same shape? Oh, I see these two have the same kind of a uh, rounded shape there. And these guys all look the same here. Can you see two fish that have spots on them? Where can we find the spots? Oh, this one has spots, that's right. What other color has the spots? Oh, yep, the yellow and the green has orange spots on it. Seeing patterns and trying to recognize what is alike and what is different is a fun game to play, but it also helps develop your child's mathematical skills. It develops the concept of patterns and relationships. So I downloaded these fish from a website called kidssoup.com, and I'll put the link in the description so you can do that too. Oh my, that shark sure was hungry in our last song. Well, this next one is also about the ocean's food chains. And we're going to start with slippery fish. 
Can you make a slippery fish with your hands kind of waving back and forth through the water? There you go. Slippery fish, slippery fish, sliding through the water. Slippery fish, slippery fish, gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no, he's been eaten by, oh my gosh, a jellyfish. A jellyfish squirting through the water. Jellyfish, a jellyfish. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no, he's been eaten by oh. an octopus, an octopus squiggling through the water. An octopus, an octopus. Gulp. Gulp, gulp. Oh no, he's been eaten by a mako shark, a mako shark lurking in the water. A mako shark, a mako shark. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no, he's been eaten by humongous whale, humongous whale, spouting through the water. Humongous whale, humongous whale, gulp, 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 burp. Oh, excuse you, whale. What a silly song. All right, here's our last one. This is called the shark song. And uh, we're gonna start with our baby shark. Can you get your baby shark out? All right. This is not the baby shark song. You're welcome, grown-ups. but it's a fun one. All right. Oh, there is a shark, do, 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 do. A baby shark, do, 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 do. Lives in the ocean, do, 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 do. He eats fish, chop, chop. Chop, chop, he wears a fin, do, 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 a dorsal fin, do, 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 and that's the end, do, 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 do. Is that the end? Because if there's a baby shark, what other kind of shark might there be? Do you think a mama shark? All right, let's make our mama shark here. Oh, there's a shark, do, 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 a mama shark, do, do. Do, 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 lives in the ocean, do, 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 do. She eats fish, chop, 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 chop. She has a fin, do, 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 do. A dorsal fin, do, 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 do. And that's the end, do, 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 do. But that's not the end, right? Because if there's a mama shark, maybe there's a daddy shark. Okay. Oh, there's a shark, do, 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 a daddy shark, do, 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 lives in the ocean, do, 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 he eats fish, chop, 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 he has a fin, do, 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 a dorsal fin, do, 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 and that's the end, do, 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 hmm. There might be somebody else in the shark family. What do you think? What about Grandma Shark? Oh, Grandma Shark has lost all of her teeth. Oh, there's a shark. Do, 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 do. A Grandma Shark. Do, 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 do. She lives in the ocean. Do, 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 do. She eats fish. Chop, 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 chop. She has a fin. Do, do. Do, 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 a dorsal fin, do, 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 and that's the end, do, 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 and that's the end. <laughs> now, I am sure that you can think of some other sharks that might live in the shark family that you can make up some different motions for, and that song can go as long as your imagination allows. All right, there are lots of fun shark books out there, and I've brought three of them to share with you today. The first one is called Swallow the Leader, 
a counting book by Dana Smith and illustrated by Kevin Sherry. And it's really fun. It's a counting book. We're going to count up and then we count down. And it starts with one fish right here. And on every page, you want to kind of keep a lookout for somebody else on there. And then there's two fish. And it says, follow the leader, do as I do, splash when I'm splashing, and I'll follow you. So can you splash? Splash, 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 splash. What about three fish? We've got one, two, three. Follow the leader to coral caves, snap like a crab, and ride on the waves. So this is a really great interactive book. There's um, motions and act actions to do on every page. And um, there's fun sea creatures to look out for, like I said, on each page. So after uh, you count up to 10, then things start going down again. You go from 10 fish to nine fish to eight fish. And I always take a look at the fish in the front something happens to them. So a funny book called Swallow the Leader. The next book I'd like to share with you is called Chomp, A Shark Romp. And this is by Michael Paul. And it is more of a nonfiction book, uh, even though it is a picture book and it's very simple. Um, I would say it's definitely um, good for even the very youngest kids. But it says there are many different types of sharks alive today. And it gives us lots of different examples with the uh, species names. So there's the mega mouth shark, the frilled shark, the blue shark, the thresher shark, the long nose shark. And it says some sharks are gentle, like the whale shark here. Oh, and others are fierce. There's the bull shark. He's hunting for some turtles. And so it goes back and forth with different kinds of uh, behaviors that sharks might do. And it just shows the differences between lots of different sharks. Some sharks are picky eaters, like the basking shark. And other sharks eat almost anything, like the tiger shark. Look at him. He's eating a license plate. So that is a really cool one to learn more about all the different kinds of sharks that are out there. The last book to share is called I Am a Shark. This is by Bob Shea. And this is about a shark that is not afraid of anything. Oh my goodness. So let's see, he says, I'm a shark. Aren't I awesome? When I get a shot, I don't even cry. Look at that. He's not crying, that's seasonal allergies. I can watch scary movies without closing my eyes. What's in the scary movie? Oh, it's a little boy who's fishing. <laughs> if there were a dinosaur here and he saw me, you know what he would be? What do you think? Scared. So it's a silly book where the shark is just bragging about how brave he is. Uh, but you might find out when you're reading it, there might be some little thing that he might be scared of. Here's a great activity to do outside during the summertime. I bought some plastic sharks uh, just from the toy department of the, of the big box store. Um, and I put them in kind of a medium sized container um, and filled it with water. And I did notice that the plastic sharks did tend to float up to the top. So I weighed them down with uh, a kind of a big rock, something heavy. Um, and then you put it in the freezer and you freeze it. And then you get this nice block of interesting sea creatures and sharks that you can have your child use just a uh, plastic squeeze bottle filled with kind of semi-warm water. Uh, put them in a bin and they can uh, squeeze that water on and excavate the sharks, free them from the ice. So it's kind of a fun activity. There's some problem solving. Maybe there are some other ways that they can uh, get the sharks out other than just the warm water. So maybe there's some kind of a, a tool of other things. So great way to experiment and problem solve and keep cool outside while you're doing it. 
So thanks again for joining me for Storytime Shorts. As always, keep rhyming, keep singing, keep reading, and keep learning.